During a lesson I took from Seth Riggs years ago, I really excelled doing the exercises, but when it came to singing songs, my larynx went up. I splatted vowels and I pulled my chest voice. I felt terrible. He looked at me and said, I don't know who's letting you do that. Inside this video, I'll tell you what happened, how it helped me, and how criticism can help you. I am Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. Quote, I don't know who's letting you do that, unquote, was a way of telling me that although past teachers let me get by with poor singing, he was not. We immediately started at the beginning of the song and began correcting vowels and other things with my singing. I was very sad because I had done so well with the vocal exercises but flopped when singing the song. But it was exactly what I needed. In fairness, I'm sure my other teachers had worked to help me get it right, but it didn't stick. When I left this lesson, I was determined to work hard to make improvements. The next time I sang for Seth, I was much improved. How do you take criticism? Do you resist it? Do you bristle when it's given to you even kindly with improvement as the motivating factor? Criticism's hard for me. I don't like it. And it's not, if it's not done well, I have a hard time benefiting from it. If you resist criticism about your singing that's constructive and accurate, you effectively hold yourself hostage to old habits. Here's how to benefit from criticism of your singing. I'm not saying you need to listen to the critic on the street or the reviewer or even your friend. However, you pay your experienced and qualified voice teacher to tell you the truth. If not, how will you get better? How will you ever improve? First then is welcome your teacher's feedback and listen carefully to what is said to help you. To get the most from your lessons, record each lesson and keep it in a playlist and use it for years to come. Listen carefully to the lesson and maintain an open mind that your teacher's feedback will help you improve. Second, be humble. If you aren't humble, you aren't teachable. If you're not teachable, you won't progress as rapidly as possible. Don't resist the criticism, welcome it. Implement the suggestions to make you better. Third, don't expect that you'll be capable of immediate implementation of the feedback. You often need time to develop your new vocal coordination. Changes in the body take time, both physically, emotionally, and neurologically. Fourth, be patient. The voice often takes longer because we think change should be immediate and permanent. We get impatient and move on to something else before the new approach has a chance to work. Fifth, trust that your teacher can hear things you can't. Your teacher can hear tension, strong head voice, or improvement even when you can't. I've greatly benefited by the skilled outside ear of excellent singing teachers. They hear what I can't, and it has been the key to real progress in my voice through the years. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with a friend. Please comment below and tell me how you've benefited from criticism. Criticism can lead to improvement. Knowing your vocal type is also a great way to improve your singing voice. Your vocal type is not whether you're soprano, alto, tenor, or bass. Your vocal type is what you tend to do when you sing higher through the bridge of your voice. Visit PowerToSing.com and take the vocal test which I call the power test. Take the quiz and discover your vocal type. Go to the Knowledge Center and watch the videos about your vocal type. Download the free exercises for your vocal type and start improving your voice immediately. I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. You can sing higher with beauty, confidence, and power. I'll see you inside the next video. Here's my book, Singing for the Stars. It's the old one that's got the cassette tapes. <laughs> I've listened to it for, I listened to it for years. And, um, and so when I took that lesson that I just told you about with Seth, I wanted them to sign my, my book. And um, 
And so he did, he signed it. Now you're not going to be able to, I'll show you a picture of it. Um, and this is what he said for Chuck. You're doing a great job. Careful on the application. It could knock your fine scale work. Best wishes, Seth, 131.11. <laughs> well, you know, when your mentor and your teacher and you know, in many ways my, my idol, man I idolize, you know, when you're there taking a lesson, you want to be impressive, you want to do so well. And so I was so excited to do this lesson. I was so excited to have my scale work so good. And then when I went to the song and I just, you know, I did what I said, um, I was really disappointed. And then when he wrote down here, you're doing a great job, careful on the application that could knock your fine scale work. Um, you know, it's the truth. And this has motivated me probably more than anything. So I wanted to share that with you.